Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how to quickly create an approximate 3D model of your space using the ETC Augmented Scanner app. This will help you get your space ready for Augmented in just minutes. Let's jump right in. Before we begin, make sure your venue is well lit. The AR app relies on the camera, so turn on all the lights for the best scanning results. Start by scanning your space to give the app some context. Once it detects the floor, select it and set it as the ground plane. Now walk through the space and set measurement points for different elements. The first element I have here is a door. I go to Tools, select Add Door, and measure from start to end. Then I will set the door depth as well as the door height. I repeat the same process for the next door. The app automatically detects walls, making it easy to add corners. Move slowly and scan as much context as possible, not just the floor. The camera needs surrounding details to maintain accuracy. If your points start shifting, the app needs more context. Scan additional details in the area and move slowly. The app will readjust once it gathers enough information. I will speed up some parts of the video a bit for you. If auto corner detection isn't accurate due to complex objects, disable auto snap using the magnet button. This allows manual adjustments. You can also drag and drop points as needed. For augmented, an approximate 3D model is helpful for using all the great features. The accuracy of your scan depends on your device. Smartphones with a built-in LiDAR scanner provide the best results. I'm using an iPad Pro 11-inch third generation. My usual tolerance is around 25 centimeters or 10 inches for this size of space. While it's not a precision tool, it gives a solid model for augmented. Once I've scanned all key points, I reconnect to the starting point and measure the ceiling height. I recommend measuring from a corner since the app does this visually. For more accuracy, use a laser meter and enter the height manually. After this step, the app asks for the stage height. I'll set it to zero. Now I have my 3D model ready to save, upload, or share. Currently, the app scans one plane at a time, so inclined levels or steps aren't supported. My usual workflow is scanning the auditorium first, then the stage. Later, I combine both in augmented. Now, let's scan the stage. I recalibrate the app, select the floor, and set my first measurement point. Since I need to measure behind the curtain, I disable auto snap. Next, I mark the left side of the proscenium. For the front of the stage, I select no wall. To add the stage's circular shape, I use the arc tool. The start point is set automatically, then I add a middle and an end point. The app fills in the rest. Once the front is set, I mark the second side of the proscenium and enter its height. Then I finish the rest of the stage measurements and set the ceiling height. Finally, I walk off the stage and set the stage height. This will raise the measured space so that it can be added as a stage in Augmented. And there we have it, a complete 3D model of the stage. Now, I load both scanned areas into Augmented and align them. I expand the model hierarchy and make the stage sidewall invisible. Next, I align the left side of the stage with the auditorium. Finally, I make the stage wall visible again and change the pivot point to the lower right corner. Next, I rescale the wall until it connects to the right side of the stage. And that's it. A quick, easy way to create a 3D model for augmented using the scanner app. I hope this tutorial helped. If you want to support this channel, please consider leaving a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. See you next time.